Hey everybody, it's Reed Comic 81 and I've got another comic book haul for you. Uh, this is going to be a pretty simple haul, no major keys or anything like that. Uh, just some books that I picked up from an antique shop, uh, an antique mall, and um, a few books off of eBay. So I'm going to get started with Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 52. And uh, this is the issue where Hector Ayala uh, takes off the White Tiger amulet and uh, gives up being White Tiger. So this is sort of a minor key here. Also picked up, uh, and I paid a dollar for that. Also picked up Master of Kung Fu 51. Uh, no big deal there. Picked up Omega the Unknown, number six. First appearance of a character called the Wrench. And also picked up number seven, first appearance of a character named Blockbuster. These are high grade books and I paid a dollar each for those as well. Here's a book that I always pick up every time I find it for a dollar and it's in high grade. This is Blood Syndicate, number one. And this is the first appearance of the Blood Syndicate team and all of these characters that you see here on the cover. So can't go wrong with this for a dollar. Um, also, discovered a new uh, antique mall, and there's one vendor in there who has quite a bit of comics, and his comics are very reasonably priced, a lot of Marvel, Bronze, and Copper Age, and um, in really good condition, too, and most of his books are right around 2 to $3, and that's what I paid a piece for these books that I'm about to show so I picked up Marvel Team Up 126, no big deal there, just working on the run. I was happy to find a really high grade copy of this. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 87, newsstand copy. Uh, this is so nice because it's a black cover and there are no spine ticks at all. Corners are sharp, cover's nice and glossy, so I was very happy to pay. I think I paid $3 for this. And um, this is the issue where Peter Parker reveals his identity to the black cat, and she freaks out. She's like, put your mask back on, put your mask back on. It's really funny. Um, he's telling her how he feels about her. He's being all, you know, romantic and sweet and everything. And he takes his mask off and he says, I love you, Felicia. And uh, <laughs> she's like, I love you too. Spider-Man, so she makes it very obvious that uh, she's not interested in Peter Parker at all. She's only interested in Spider-Man, so really cool story. And uh, also, was happy to find this. This has been on my radar for a little bit now. This is Peter Parker number 92, and this is the first full appearance of a character called The Answer. And uh, this is a nice high-grade newsstand copy of that. I think I paid three for that as well. Also found Master of Kung Fu 118, double-sized issue, um, near mint, and paid two for that. And Master of Kung Fu 124, near mint, near mint minus or so, paid two dollars for that as well. All right, um, also found some Conan books. These were two bucks a piece, high-grade copies, 147, 152. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. One. 60, 161, 162, and 169. I think I need about 25 more issues of this series, and I am done with the series. So hoping this will be the year. We'll see. Okay, I'm also working on the Power Man and Iron Fist run. And I was able to find number 76. Paid $2 a piece for these as well. No, I paid... What did I pay? I think I paid 4 for this and 4 for this. But they're near mint copies. 77. And the rest of these I paid $2 a piece for. Uh, 79. 80. 81. 82. A lot of red covers in these later issues. Of the series. 83, 85, 86, 87, 
92, Hammerhead appearance. He's typically a Spider-Man villain, I think. 93, 94. I really like this one because um, this is an all Ernie Chan issue. I think he did the cover here. He also does the interior pencils and inks. Really good artist. 97, and that does it for Power Man and Iron Fist. I'm not sure if this is the first appearance of uh, Farah, this character here, but another Ernie Chan cover. All right, um, that does it for that store. Also went to another antique mall uh, while I was in Bay City and picked up some more Marvel back issues. Man Called Nova, number 11, still working on this run. And I want to say I paid $4 for this, I think. High-grade copy. Um, also found some issues of The Invaders. Found number 19, which is a Hitler cover. I paid $4.25 for that. These are all uh, near mint. Number 11, Jack Kirby cover. Paid $4 for that. Number 10, paid $3 for that. And uh, also picked this up. I did not want to pay <laughs> what the person was asking for for this book, but I looked it up on eBay and figured might as well go ahead and get it. This is Invaders number 7, near mint copy of this. This is the first appearance of Baron Blood. And in this condition, this book goes for about $50, $50 to $75, and I paid $36 for this. I typically would not spend that much money on a comic from an antique mall, but like I said, um, figured why not. I was in the mood to buy and near mint copy, so I just grabbed it. All right, so that does it for the antique malls and antique shops. Um, also picked up a few books off of eBay. Now these next five books were from the same seller and he was selling these books for dirt cheap. And he had a whole run of these. Unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I already had a lot of the books that he was listing. But these prices were too good to pass up. This is a Master of Kung Fu 38. I think this was listed at $4 free shipping. So all these books, the shipping was free. And I picked up number 39. This was, I think, like $3.50 free shipping. And these are in excellent condition. Number 40, I think this was also $4 free shipping. Number 45, $4 free shipping. And 62, I think this was like 350 free shipping. I'm not sure how anybody could even make any money off books when they're selling that cheap and the shipping is free. I have no idea, but uh, I was super happy to find these on there and uh, uh, had the money, so I was ready to just go ahead and buy them. Right, tame, uh, right place at the right time, I guess you could say, for those. And I'm going to go ahead and close this video out with two more books. Um, these books were also eBay purchases, and they were in one lot. And that is Peter Parker, number eight, near mint copy of that. And this is the book that I really wanted, Peter Parker, number nine, near mint copy of this. First appearance of the White Tiger in comics. And I paid... $12.99, buy it now, free shipping for both of these books, which is an amazing deal considering this book right here, uh, the value of this book is starting to rise very quickly. So you guys out there, if you want to get a copy of this while it's still affordable, I suggest jumping on this like yesterday because a book in this condition right here um, is going to easily go for $50 right now. So if you can find this out in the wild, you know, for like $10, $15, $20 even in good condition, I would not hesitate to grab this book. And
And uh, yeah, this is not the White Tiger's first appearance. Uh, this is his first appearance in comics, but his first um, real appearance, I guess you could say, is in Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. And I think it's number 19. And that book is really expensive. Um, for a mid-grade copy, you're going to pay like at least $200 for that book. So... Yeah, this one's still affordable, but it's going up quick, so uh, now's the time to jump on this book if you want it. So that does it for this time around, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope everybody is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you all next time. Happy hunting, everybody. Bye.